Guys, during design of any concrete member, as per IS456, you always take the allowable stress in concrete as 0.45 FCK. But do you know why this is 0.45 FCK? Why this is not 0.55 FCK? Or why this is not 0.35 FCK? Well, this video will explain all these things. Okay, so welcome to my channel. If you are a civil engineer, please subscribe this channel to get videos on analysis, design and construction. So from experiment, it has been shown that if this is your concrete section, this is the neutral axis and this is the compressed zone and this is the most compressed fiber. Okay. And from experiment, it has been proved that concrete in compression zone or the most compressed fiber in the compression zone fails at 85% of the cylinder strength of the concrete. What is cylinder strength? Well, you know, when you measure the characteristic strength of your concrete in cylinder, then the strength is known as cylinder strength. Okay. But in IS456, we measure the strength or we measure the characteristic strength of our concrete in cube. So if the cylinder strength is say 30 MPa, so from experiment, it has been proved that it fails only at 25.5 MPa or at 85% of the cylinder strength. In IS456, we measure the strength of our concrete in terms of cube strength. Okay. And you know how to measure this. You form a cube of dimension 150 mm length, 150 mm width and 150 mm height. Okay. Now, if you compare this cube strength in terms of cylinder strength, it is always more in case of cube strength. Okay. And from different experiment, it has been proved that our cylinder strength is only 80% of the cube strength. Okay. So if the cube strength is 37 MPa, the cylinder strength will be only 30 MPa. Okay. So combine these two things. First one is concrete fails at 85% of cylinder strength and cylinder strength is only 80% of cube strength. Just multiply two things. What will come? You will get that concrete will fails at 68% of the cube strength. Okay. Which is the case for our IS456. Now IS456 introduce a partial safety factor which is known as gamma M. I think you know that and the value of gamma M for concrete is 1.5. Okay. So if you divide this 0 0.68 by 1.5, you will get 0.45 FCK and this is the value which you use in your design okay so if you find this video useful please don't forget to subscribe